In this video, we're going to have a look at timelines within Microsoft Project. So my timeline is off at present. I can turn it on by using the View tab and choosing the option Timeline from the Split View section of the ribbon. So here's the timeline, so it can be turned on and off. So I'm going to leave it on for the video. Now when you, when you click in the timeline, you will see that it has its own tab. If you click in the project, you lose the tab. So format is now for project. If you click in the timeline, format is now for the timeline. So that's really important to know when you're using a timeline where you're clicking. So to, to be inside the timeline, that's when you can use the format for the timeline. If I click inside Microsoft Project, Format is now part of project, so this tab changes depending on where you are. So I'm going to click back into the timeline. Now I'm in the timeline, I can see the timeline tab. I can do different things to the timeline. So, for example, I can use existing tasks to add to the timeline. I'm going to add job shortest in. So now I can see where job shortlisting appears instead of looking down the list. So if you have important tasks, you can then show it. I can add others, so I can add design job specification. Now this one, we can't see all the text. Now if it ever abbreviates it and you can't drag it. So if I can't make it any bigger, and I, want, I wanted to see everything, I can use display as a callout. So it's a different way of looking at it. You can also add a second timeline bar. So there's two of them now. now. The reason why you might want to do this, if you add too many tasks to one bar, it'll get cluttered. So you might want to add to the second one, and then you might want to see on the second one. So I can click on it, show different tasks. So say, okay, I want to show first interview, and second interview and now it shows it on the second bar now I can move tasks from one bar to another so I could click on it and I can drag so they are quite clever I can move it back so I can copy this whole timeline so here's the timeline here so when it copies, it copies with whatever's in the timeline. So I can copy timeline for presentation, open up PowerPoint, and then I can paste it into PowerPoint when PowerPoint launches. So I'm going to a blank presentation. And I'll just change the type of layout to the title. I could call it project update. And then paste. And that's how it now looks. I can make it a bit bigger, smaller. But you notice know, if you're looking at the movement, is that the text doesn't go with it. That's the one downside of resizing the timelines. But you could always do some grouping and group the, the objects when they're in PowerPoint to present them. But this gives you an idea of how it could be displayed within PowerPoint. And you could then show what the timeline, well, where the timeline is and where the important tasks are. So this could be for important information. You could show certain little bits of information via timeline, so that's what can be done in PowerPoint. I'll just minimize that. Back into project now, I can move the tasks to the other timeline. So I'll do in this example, then I want to delete the second one. So I'll click on it and just press the delete key. So I'm just left with one now. I can pull the divide line up again. So these are the kind of things you can do with a timeline. So you've got all kinds of choices. You know, you've got existing tasks, timeline bar you can add. There's different kinds of date formats you can use. 
how much text you want on one line or a text and how many lines you want it. You can also format. So the you can try and change this job shortlist in format. And you can change some of the colors if you wanted to. If I didn't want it on the timeline, say for example the second interview, click on it, remove from timeline. So these are the kind of things you can do with the timeline. You can there are lots of options. You can compare, you can bring on multiple timeline bars, you can produce the tasks as you want them, you can remove them. Like here I've got one here that is call out. I might want to display it on the bar again. It's back on the bar. And this and this now looks at the kind of use you can make of the timeline area. But also the really important um, part to also take out of this is when you click outside of the timeline and into Microsoft Project, you actually now lose the features of the timeline. So to use the timeline features, you must be clicking in the timeline. Now the format gives me the timeline. So this completes the training video on timelines, manipulating the timeline using an additional timeline we had a look at and also copying timelines to Microsoft PowerPoint. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Hope to see you for the next tutorial and thanks for watching.